Thank you for joining us for our Word of the Day. This morning as we're continuing through the Bible, we're going to look at John chapter 3, verse number 30. In this passage of Scripture, there's kind of a debate between John and his disciples. Jesus has begun his earthly ministry, he's gotten his disciples, and he's basically in another area of the country baptizing as well. And so his disciples come to him and say, you know, Rabbi, teacher, uh, what about this other guy that's that's baptizing across the river? What about this other guy that's doing the same things you are? He's baptizing anybody that comes to him, Jew, Gentile, Pharisee. It doesn't matter if they come to him, he's baptizing them. What's going on with him? And John begins to explain that Jesus is the Messiah and Jesus is the one that he's been prophesying about. But he says in chapter 3, verse 30, he says seven very incredible words. He says, he must increase, but I must decrease. And those are, are wonderful words. Those are incredible words. Those are words that I want to have in my own heart, in my own life, where my goal is to increase Christ and promote Jesus and decrease myself and humble myself. But they're hard words to actually live. I mean, put yourself in John's position. John has a pretty big following at this point. He's He's respected in Israel. He's got a name for himself. He's got a ministry for himself. Thousands of people are coming to him to hear him teach and hear him preach and be baptized by him. And here John is basically at the peak of his ministry, the peak of his popularity, the peak of his influence, saying my job isn't to increase myself or promote myself or lift myself up. My job is to lift up Jesus and humble myself. And I believe as believers, we all want to lift up Jesus. We want to glorify His name. We want to praise His name. We want to shine His name to the lost and dying world. But it's that second part we struggle with, that second part of us decreasing, us humbling ourselves, us not promoting, our, us not caring what other people say about us as long as we are lifting up Jesus, as we are increasing Jesus. And this is, this is taught throughout Scripture. You know, the Bible says that God humbles the proud, but gives grace to the humble. That God will resist those who try to promote themselves and increase themselves and make, lift themselves up. But those people who humble themselves before Him, humble themselves under Him, and lift Him up, He gives grace to. Jesus says, if I am lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. God didn't say if you have a great preacher and you lift him up. God didn't say if you have a great music program and you lift it up. God didn't say if you have a wonderful building and you lift it up. No, God said if you lift me up, if you humble yourself, lower yourself, make yourself of less importance and lift me up, then all men will be drawn unto me. That's a wonderful thought, that's a wonderful prayer, but it's hard to live. Yeah, increase Jesus. Yes, lift up Jesus. Yeah, promote Jesus. But at the same time, decrease yourself. Humble yourself. Lower yourself. It's great to say, it's hard to do. Thanks so much for joining us for our Word of the Day. Be sure to be back here tomorrow as we continue through Scripture, and have a blessed day.